First thing I want to talk about is for model year 2025, we're bringing new automation, harvest automation technologies to both the S series and the X series. So the same technology. The first thing I want to talk about that I'm most excited about is predictive ground speed automation. So today our combines are very reactive. So we, we're making those adjustments once the crop material is inside of the body of the combine, which is proven, but it might not be the most efficient. And so now what we're most excited about, what we're showing casing you here today, is we're now giving predictive inputs into our combine. So the combine will know areas of higher yield and lower yield before it even gets there. And that's going to obviously control the, the ground speed. So in areas of lower um, crop yield, we're going to speed up. In areas of higher, we might maintain or slow down. And the value for the customer, there's two things. First, we're going to maximize our machines. We know that these are investments and we know that we got to keep them full. The more we can keep them full, the more consistent job that they can do. If they're not full, that's when setting changes happen and possibly grain quality can change. Um, the second thing for the operator is there's a lot going on in the harvest. And so we can take away the, the need to white knuckle and adjust the, the hydro handle every second by second. It allows them to focus more on the header, which is what we heard from customers, as well as um, um, maybe unloading on the go or whatever other feature that or task that they need to do. So. With that said, let's talk about the predictive, uh, predictive ground speed automation. So there's two predictive sources that we're now providing our combines. First is satellite imagery, and that's what you can see here. I call this our red, our red carpet map. Um, but essentially what will happen is um, when they buy, a, when a dealer sells a combine, an ultimate combine license, that triggers our backend system to, uh, we have third party providers that we've partnered with. They will share all their active field boundaries. And when they share the active field boundaries, the, the last six months, our service providers are going to give us the images. So these companies already have that business model. They scan each and every day all over the surface of the earth. We're just saying, hey, for these areas, can you please provide us these images? We're then behind the scenes. We're going to handle all the images and we're going to create a predictive yield map. Now, you won't see any of the images. You won't see the yield map until you're actually inside the combine harvesting. For us as dealers, the first thing you're going to see with this is when work planner. So you're going to have to use work planner to send it to the machine. In work planner, there will be an icon that will appear with a check mark saying, hey, there's a file ready. You send it to the machine, and once you send it to the machine, when you begin harvesting, that's when it will create this predictive yield map. Um, and if you give me just a second here, I'll show you an example of how that looks like. So your, your uh, predictive image can be anywhere from zero to six months old, or how, how yeah, often so, does it refresh so the, for you? Uh, it's, so it's, it's an automatic system and pretty much what it's going to be based on is when the crop is the most mature. So you think about like just before R4 and small grains, before that reproductive cycle um, and corn just before silking. And here's an example of what this will look like. So the highlighted area here is what you have already have harvested. The dim area here is that predictive yield. And so again, for the whole field, so you begin harvesting and within five minutes it will create this map. And so the value here again, so here's, here's a heavy red spot. Maybe that's a washout area. So again, what's neat with this is our, our operators can understand the system and know, hey, I'm probably gonna anticipate a speed change here. And I can also see that with my eyes. So I, I have trust in our system. So it'll likely speed up through that area. So that's the first part is now we're gonna have the satellite images. The second part is if you look at the front of this combine, there's two forward looking cameras here mounted to the front of the cab. And these cameras, if you show over here onto our display, this is exactly what the cameras are doing. So the cameras are looking 28 feet ahead of the header, of the whole header width, and it's classifying crop state and crop height. So here's green, this is consistent stand. Now we'll see up here, like there's areas of down crop. These cameras have indicated, hey, here are areas of down crop. You can see that the height difference, that's the color change, and it's gonna control our speed. So we're likely going to slow down in the down crop because we know that's tougher threshing conditions. Um, if there's areas of down uh, of lower yield, we'll probably speed up through it because again, it's all about maintaining um, throughput of your machine. So the value of having these two is they both they work parallel with one another. So what I mean by that is, again, the satellite images are going to be based off of when the crop's most mature. It won't likely have any of your late season events. The value with your forward cameras then is it's going to pick up any kind of late season events. Um, that, 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 that maybe it wasn't present when, this, when the satellite images are based off of. Or, and vice versa, let's say if dust or terrain, your camera's only as good as what you can see. So if there's any kind of impairment, then you have to fall back up to satellite views. You still have a target as far as your power? Yep, yep, you still have a, your, your target um, that you can set. You can also set a, a maximum speed limit. 
We also do have a down crop max limit. So let's say if, if you know you don't you don't want your combine to uh, exceed a certain threshold when significant down crop is uh, picked up, you can also set that as well. So if you think that's cool, I'm only halfway through what we're bringing for automation. The second thing I want to show you here is the other piece we're bringing is harvest settings automation. So this is what the run page is going to look like on all model year 2025 machines. And what we're bringing with harvest settings automation is we're going to allow customers to quickly optimize their machines uh, sooner and faster. So let's talk about before what happens today. Today, you need to optimize the machine. Um, tell it what you're seeing and what recommendations do you have. It takes time, you have to know, and we know how with customers, some customers don't know how to do that. Why should I am paying a million dollars for a machine? Why shouldn't the machine know how to set its settings? And so the value here is instead of worrying about the settings, you're going to be worried more about the value-based outcomes, grain loss, foreign material and broken grain, something that customers care about. You tell it what your acceptance levels are. And these are relative scales, zero to 10. And when you make those settings adjustments, if they're ever exceeded, it will tell you, hey, there's a setting being changed and we're also telling you why. So in this example, because my grain loss, I want five. Right now I'm reading 5.3. So because I'm higher, I'm just my fan speed and it's because of grain loss. So it's really cool just that we're sharing more of that information. So you just tell us what you want for your outcome base. Let the, set, let the combine worry about getting you there, optimizing itself. Um, the last thing I just wanna share here, um, so these settings, so this is how you'll interact with it. So that's five, you can either go up or down. We're also gonna be providing starting recommendations. And this is gonna be based off of fleet data. We know this because you know X is different settings than an S. We know that corn is different than wheat for settings. And we know that you know North Dakota wheat is different than Kansas wheat because of you know weather conditions, varieties, whatnot. So as our fleet data expands, as our fleet goes, our data gets better as well. So green is saying, hey, we recommend to be in this area. Yellow is, hey, we recommend, but maybe there's a trade-off. And red is like, hey, based on our studies, our research, you don't want to be in the red. The last thing is, I think it's just so cool how much visible inputs we're sharing at a one screen, high level view for, for a customer using a G5 Plus. So what I mean by that is we talked about the maps, about seeing the, the, the forward cameras as well as the satellite views. The other thing that's cool is, so this is your productivity. Here's your yield. You can see the last 15 minutes, how you've been trending. You can see how your settings have been trending and if it's ever exceeded, how quickly did it mitigate that, that, that threshold. Grain loss, you heard from Pat yesterday talking about, hey, now we can see grain loss. This was always something that was on the corner post, but now we have it within our, our uh, run page here. This is for an X, so this is separator, this is shoe, but you can see how that grain loss, what are the, what are the drivers for it? The settings, when they're adjusting, the reason why, and then the, your active vision cameras as we have today, so I'm showing you the quality. So if your foreign material is, is starting to rise, you can confirm it visually. And down here, these are our shortcut boot keys. So our uh, ground speed automation, our harvest settings automation, at a quick level, you can say, hey, yep, it's, it's proceeding as it should. If it ever changes colors, like if cameras are blocked and need clean, we, 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 you can go in here and you can have a deeper dive. Um, the last thing I'll share here. So this is how we're bringing all this to market. So I know I shared a lot here. Let's talk about it. So our ultimate combine license, even though these are awesome automation technologies we're bringing, let's not overlook that we have G5 proven technologies out there today. So a one button click, if you select a ultimate combine license, it's giving you the predictive that we talked about. It's giving you the harvest settings automation, and it's giving you all the G5. So machine sync, auto path, auto track turn automation, infield data sharing. It's giving you all in one, one click. We're also offering a premium. So premium has everything in ultimate, but predictive. So I think of premium kind of like a comparable to Combine Advisor today package, um, which is kind of neat because Combine Advisor is not until you're in ultimate. And then we do have a select uh, tech package and G5 Advance would be the, the recommended path for that.